Gene Winfield sign the dash of this truck. We're about ready to head out to the Onyx Build Challenge. We're gonna go meet up with everyone and see what the first event has for us and see how the old willies will stack up. But first, we thought we would show you something that we had, we had fun with it and we thought you guys might like to see it also. When we were in Tennessee, Derek took us for a tour at Rusty Acres. Showed us some of his old cars that he's driven home and some of the cars he almost died in. So check this out. Derek's gonna take and walk us through some, some of his cool cars because we're car people, really. Check this little uh, hot rod out right here. This is a 1980s-ish SGMT pickup. This started just as like a regular work truck, right? But I've always wanted something that I could tow or haul trailers with. And that was a vision for this truck. So we ended up putting a fifth wheel on it, but it's slammed. It's like six in the front, 12 in the back, airbags, huge step notch, 496 big block, custom interior. Oh, she's cool. I mean, it's all good. It's all tricked out. Air conditioning, cruise control. That's nice. I haven't done anything this nice yet. We're gonna, I got a four door that we're gonna make nice. I mean, nice -ish. You, you guys tell me I should paint stuff all the time, but I'm like Derek, I would rather make this part really nice. Right. And this part look old. But look at the paint, yeah. there's no paint on it. It's chipped, exactly. it's cracked, it's faded. Because you don't, we use it. Yeah, you don't feel bad about Take it to the grocery store and a cart rolling into the side of it or your kid taking it to school and someone door dinging it. So I'll we make the inside nice, leave the outside nice-ish. So fifth wheel hitch in the back. Look at the giant C notch in here. Well, that's cool. I like it. The exhaust over the the axle. We got cutouts on it. <laughs> all the fun stuff. All the fun stuff. Yeah. I did see an international scout down here. Did you? I did. We should look at that. Where did you see that? Oh, it's it's down here. There's a lot of cool cars in here. So I literally watched you pressure wash this car right here for an hour one day. Oh, the Betty Light, yeah. Yes. Yep. I, I love Michelle this came car. in and she's like, What are you doing? I'm like, Well, he's washing all the moss off this car. And she's like, Can you fast forward? I'm like, yeah, but I'm watching it. It's satisfying. I'm watching it come right. off. Yeah. So this yeah. was when I first started YouTube. Just a just a quick story. This is when I was very first starting. I, my camera actually blew over and I ruined my lens on my camera. It was like $140. Oh, yeah. I was devastated. Yep. I thought I couldn't continue, but we figured it out. Anyway, this car has been just a blessing. It's an awesome hot rod, classic car cool car yeah I mean, yep it's it's pretty awesome but let's go look at the scout yeah the scout so me and international we go way back a 63 was my first crawler i ever built so special place for international so look at this one did you look oh i've one? seen i've seen this thing you want to get in it oh i gotta get in it <laughs> how do you get in it oh we gotta flee okay Holy cow. Yeah. Feel that floorboard. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is ridiculous. Uh, is this a carbon monoxide alarm? It is. <laughs> so, uh, true story. I was puking on the side of a Home Depot. Uh-huh. And I couldn't figure out what was happening. I was like, I didn't drink that much. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm puking and just didn't feel good. And then it dawned on me like there could be carbon monoxide poisoning. So I bought this alarm at Home Depot, mounted it up, and within three seconds it was alarming. <laughs> so I had carbon oh, monoxide geez. poisoning for like five days driving drive, this home. Trying to drive it home. I watched that episode. I remember seeing this car. This hey, is this is scary this, actually. This all here is puke. So like all this <laughs> outside windows puke. <laughs> I was puking out the side window. Oh, that's so nuts. Yeah. yeah so, uh, carbon monoxide's a real thing. You want to watch it in these cars. Yeah. But uh, this is mint. Dude, it's a, it's a crazy car. This yeah. is electrically empty. For the shop. steering? Yes. 
So that's what you run like wiring? Yeah. Like a building? Like it's paper thin. Right. So this shouldn't be there. But this it is. flooring is like, all this is just like 22 gauge. What motor is in it? It's a Jeep 327. Okay, so AMC stuff. Yep. That's yep. why they the Jeep instrument. Right, exactly. Yeah, you yep. gotta stick with your roots, right? It actually runs really good, but it has a massive oil leak. And if you look on the door panel here. <laughs> look at that. This is what my face looked like. There is, oh geez. So there's oil. Oh just yeah, just spraying, spraying everywhere. I mean, you're we're in the back seat of this car, if you haven't noticed. There's oil on the inside of the window. Okay, <laughs> this is nice. Which is probably why all the rags are in the seat. Yes, yeah. yeah. wiping your face yeah. off and just trying to figure so, out life. Yeah. yeah, Derek's pretty crazy to drive this car very far. I How far did you drive it? 580 miles-ish until I threw the tower. Do you want to see under the hood? This is funny. Yeah, we probably should look. I mean, I, I can imagine what's there. Oh. oh, this is stupid. If you had to get out of that fast, you're dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at this. Look how stupid that looks. <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> Just a radiator and some brakes. So there used to be a fan on there. Uh huh. And I took the fan off because the fan was, was blowing. sucking carbon monoxide. Exactly. The exhaust yeah. fumes, the oil, all that stuff. So I took the fan off. But there's nothing in here. What do you do with a car like this? You know, it's been four years. Yeah? I don't know. <laughs> You're still trying to figure out what to do with it. I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to make like a, like a tube chassis drag car, but... I'm not in an area that I can do drag racing often enough to make, yeah. you know. I mean, it's fairly close to like a wheelie car if you just move the motor back a little bit more. And, oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Trying to convince your wife to go to date night to a movie or something, and it might be pretty hard to do. But well, she maybe could. Until go. oil got on her face, and then right. mine's checking out every time at that point. But speaking of dates, the wife likes the Scout. Yeah? This thing's cool. This is the rig, dude. Yeah. This, this is thing. this is legit rock crawler stuff. So 1980 International Scout. It has the uh, Nissan Turbo Diesel. There was only about oh. uh, 2200 ish made of these total. Yeah. Last year 80, but I paid stupid amount of money to have this build sheet ran on this particular vehicle through international this is a one-on-one really so the graphics the interior the options the engine the Ooh, rear end gear one-on-one it's is, turbo diesel turbo diesel yep and uh you have to excuse i mean it's a little messy inside don't worry about this this stuff yeah. that's fine and looks like something might be living no, here. No, 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 it's no. fine. Don't worry about this. <laughs> so we're having the interior completely redone. I'm putting floors in it. But the coolest part, I have to figure out how to open the hood. I think it's, it's this in the glove. <laughs> <laughs> Those vice grips. Is this part right here? That is cool. Nissan Turbo Diesel. Nissan Turbo Diesel Factory. Yep. I didn't know that was a thing. Man, this thing is... It's is this ether injection? It is, yes. That's mandatory diesel It's a situation. factory... Yeah, factory ether. option. <laughs> factory ether, <laughs> which is crazy, but it's a factory ether injection. Like, you're going to need the ether this thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just how it works. Yep. Cold? Yep. Not cold? You're probably just going to need to ether that to start yeah. it. So without ether, which I don't have, I haven't put a can on it in years, yeah. you gotta run the plugs for 50 seconds. They're like power Six. stroke, basically. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Without the gravel sound getting chewed up when you start. Yeah. Yeah. This thing will run forever, but it's hard starting. It's gutless, <laughs> but you could drive it till the end of the year. Oh yeah, always gonna just drive. Oh, 100%. Yeah. We've had this thing through rivers and creeks and lakes. And I mean, it's not like one of these vehicles that you want to like have both hands off the wheel for very long, probably while you're driving. Oh no, that. 
Not yeah, because every international I've driven is like both hands and maybe a foot to help you control it. You need to be cognizant of what you're doing <laughs> yep. at all times <laughs> driving this vehicle. Oh, yeah. This, it's exactly like mine was. What a coincidence. Yeah. These things are cool, though. And it's got aftermarket train horns, which don't oh, work. Oh, that upped the value. Yeah, oh, yeah. Next to the cracked yeah. washer bottle bottle. Yep. yep. It looks like the top's never even been off this thing. No, nope. no. Nope. That's unusual. Super solid. Yeah. This uh, is cool. It, it does. I mean, it's got the typical international rust. Yeah. They changed this in 81, but, I think. Yep. They did like a zinc or something. Fixed the problem. But. Yeah. I like it. This one is super rare. This is like one of 500. This is that choo-choo. The choo-choo. What? I mean, is it a train? What makes it a choo-choo? Choo-choo customs. Choo-choo customs. See this? The wood. Okay. So they did the seats. Um, see the center box. console. Look at this. Oh, Fuzzbuster. Really? The lights. Yeah. The, I mean, all that stuff. That's cool. That was all. So they didn't do many of these. The choo choos were fairly rare. Five, five to six hundred ish. Yeah. Stops. So this truck. Dude, this one pretty good actually this thing's cool like so, we don't know how to confirm but jen or excuse me gene winfield signed the dash of this truck serious yes and there's rumors that he may have done the chop oh. we don't know for sure but gene winfield himself the absolute legend signed the dash uh, this thing has a 318 Mopar in it. Oh yeah. Camaro rear end, custom drive line. Uh, the kegger the for, a, for kegger a gas, gas tank. tank. Yeah, that's, that's just cool. I drove this from Texas all the way back to Tennessee and it was miserable. <laughs> With that seat in it? Yes. Or lack of seat? Lack of seat. Here, sit in it. Go ahead, slide on them. <laughs> okay. It's like a giant spider right there. It's not. Okay. Super comfortable, right? Yeah, you can see lots. This is my vision right up here. So I this... lost an inch of height driving this home. <laughs> You're crunched down like that. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh, this is, this would be a long drive. And look at this airbag you got here. Oh yeah, pointed. Like yeah. you're gonna wanna not crash. This yeah. is, this is a short drive car. So I overheated every about 45 miles. Oh, so apparently you could get out and yeah. relax for a minute. Yeah, so I did that for uh, about 1,100 miles straight. <laughs> and uh, uh, it was a fun drive. Well, thanks for the tour of the, of the cars. This is awesome. You got some cool stuff. That was a tour of what Derek has. Well, a little portion of what he has. What Derek the has, cool stuff. One camp. It's the cool stuff that we that got to see. All right, it is that day. We're headed to Sand Hollow. We're gonna go down and test this old Willys out. It's our first challenge for the Onyx off-road build. So we'll go see how this all works out. I think the old Willys is up for it. Probably gonna break some stuff on her, but uh, she's good. We'll go put her to the test and see how it works. We just slapped on a set of Firestone tires because uh, the other ones seem to have let the smoke out of them in the front yard, so. They were all junk anyway, so give me a little better chance of winning and uh, hopefully it doesn't count towards my budget. We'll find out. Here we go. The Onyx Build Challenge is back. Straight up derby car special. <laughs> and that aluminum work. Is that a carrier? That is a carrier under there, my friend. Holy crap, that yeah. is amazing. They've done some special stuff underneath of there. I expect that to be laying out somewhere and we can pick it up tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so we're doing the first challenge to the Onyx challenge, and it's a tug of war. And it looks like Rudy and Robbie are first up, so we'll see who wins that.
here at the Onyx Challenge. Me and Sean, uh, we have, oh, well, the door still doesn't stay shut, but we're, we're going to, a tug of war, I guess, is what we have up first. So we're up against Bleepin' Jeep and their Jaguar. I think the old girl's got her. So we'll see how this goes. I'm ready. If my rear bumper doesn't fall off right here, we're good to go. Alrighty. Well, my door's sort of shut. Let's, <laughs> let's get her warmed up. She's fine. Oh, she's ready. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I should be fishing in these boat seats. I like, do too. It's pretty plush. Yeah, I feel like we're on the lake. Do I just give her the onion right off or do we ease it? Let it spin and then hit it. Okay. <laughs> Line's still turning, so wiggle those hubs. Maybe they're out. <laughs> All right, this is since you since the rope did not move for 10 seconds, you have to pick a card to determine who winner. High card wins. Since yeah. Paul technically got it the furthest, he gets to pick first. All right, well you got a 50/50 chance. Take that one. All right. What do you got? Ace. Jack. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Bleepy wins! <laughs> What broke? <laughs> Look right here. The hub's all cracked. Smoked both hubs. So we're two wheel drive. That's nice. I was hoping we had the rest of the day. Man, I forgot we turned those stupid hubs out. I knew as soon as we put horsepower to it, it was over. Didn't take Did it long break? at all. Both of them. Both hubs are broke? The housing is broke. Oh, yeah. So. Dang it. I'm sure it's fine. We'll just hit it with speed next time. Lasted about as long as I anticipated. That's <laughs> awesome, dude. That's the best. Okay, broke the axle right off the end. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> I'm not sure we can fix that one. Where's the camera? Oh, you got it all. So. Yeah, that one, we didn't even get on it and broke that front axle. Look how little that is. Tiny. Interesting. I don't know how to fix that. 
Yeah, so we awesome. weld the dip and have a three layer? I'm thinking maybe. I mean, I think we can just rob the outside half. This and put it on there, pull the diff cover off, weld spiders up. I'll at least have three legs. Three's better than two anyway. We're gonna try to get at least two wheel drive going for some, so a well differential of All right, are you ready to get oily? I'm ready. Oh, I'm not sure there's any oil in it, my friend. Oh, there's a little. Yeah, here you go. That's sort of oil. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Water mud. It's like jelly. <laughs> kind of. That is gel. <laughs> well, we're taking it out after today. So yeah, it had to run today. That's it. Matter. Just set that somewhere. <laughs> Don't drip it on you. We'll put it back in here in a minute. So. Oh yeah, it's going to be perfect. <laughs> Oh yeah, that'll get some of it out of there. You get a little bit of a weld on it. We're at least gonna have two wheel drive. Yes, I won't, I, if I weld up that Dana 35, I'll just have no wheel drive real quick, I think is what'll happen. But. It might. <laughs> it might. This one's, we exploded the front axle. And at least you got a 44 back there. Yeah, so. it should hold. We need to tie it as small as we can. Like make Get the bag as, all the plastic that we did. Yeah, make it as small as we can. We'll put the bottom <laughs> couple <laughs> bolts in and we'll set the bag down in there and then just put it in. It's just, How about a good. screwdriver? Oh, I'll dig a little God. bit of these chunks out. Here. Oh yeah. That'll that'll keep gears happier. This is an old style trick. We used to bring uh Ziploc bags with us on the trail. So bolt it on. Put the bottom couple of bolts in it as loose as you can get them to where we can slip this down over the top and then you'll have to hurry and tighten the bottom ones because it's going to melt the bag. Yeah. Right. We're going to smell like 90 weight today. Mm. All right. What's our odds, Hunter? I've never seen this done before, so. Push 
Cross thread, Loctite, it's good. One time. <laughs> She's gotta beat somebody. I don't care who I am, I beat somebody. I thought some diff welding may have been happening. No. No. Oil was leaking. We just had yeah, we're just trying to fix the oil leak. We're concerned about the environment. It's a good thing you didn't weld the dip because the front, like the first obstacle on belts, is redded. Oh, like yeah. worse than I've ever no, seen. Sure that's, that's, that's good. I'm glad I didn't weld the dip then. Yeah. Yeah. But Mini Cooper made it there unassisted. Really? Which really? Was, down dude, the fence line? Dude. Yeah. You cool. went down the fence yeah, line? No. Like, no. Way. <laughs> 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 it was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> So that's cool. All right, so it's time for the next competition. We just got us a little food. So we are currently three wheel drive. We've welded that in. So the other tire turns, we welded the diff in the back. Maybe we can make it through one gate. We're gonna tow it there just to make sure that we get there before we break it. Let's see how this goes. Well, we're just getting towed to the trailhead. We don't want to break anything, so we're getting this thing to there. And Hunter, your screw job didn't hold up. My seat came out. I almost <laughs> went clear out the back window. Start. All right, so we've just figured out the course. If we can make it from that flag to this one, we get some money. If we make it from that one to that one, we make some money. And then if we can get up, this one is where we make the most amount of money. So. I'm feeling pretty optimistic right now. You know what? Here's what we'll do. If you want to help out your fellow competitor, you can. But no other vehicle other than the vehicles that are participating in the Onyx Off-Road Build Challenge can help each other. So if someone gets up here and the next person who wants to go says, well, hey, I'll pull you up the rest of the way, that's up to you guys. So they think it's dumb, but Ian did say, front tire through the cone. He didn't say it had to be Oh no. <laughs> yeah, Unbolt you're taking it off. Yeah. I'm just saying, that's 800, 850 bucks for all of us if we do it. <laughs> we have 10 minutes. Uh, 10 minutes to get through here. I'm just saying. I think I'm going to go as far as I can. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, and then, and then we'll stuck. pull the tire from there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I'm three wheel drive. I think I can Dude, make it. Floor jack. I think you can make it and you break it and make the gate. Especially with front wheel drive. If, we'll see. if you're starting from that flag, you're going to be 25 miles an hour. You guys when you might want to clear out because when he says go, I'll be going uh, backwards. I'm going slow, sir. Then... More like a ball. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. If yours runs, you could do that. I was going to say, ours is having to start. It's 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 like, it's every bump, it's like. I'm very carbonated. I'm very carbonated. Maybe it just needs to be like flat to the floor. Yeah. Yeah, we tried that. Yeah, we tried that. <laughs> we already took the exhaust off, so now it's superheating the floor that oh, he's sitting on. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The muffler decided to uh, delete itself, and the floor decided to come up into my butt more. How did that feel? Yeah, it felt great. I'll bet it did. <laughs> I was really glad that I added that uh, floor mat like in there. Same scenario yeah. we had. I, well, when you told me to I'm put those in there, sure I'm like, for your my, feet or for your boat? One of my boat seats fell out if you want it. Oh, we can set it in there. You just kind of hang in there. I heard, I heard that if you have certain people screw it in there, that it'll hold up for like half of a, an event. One, one person. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. I have no Is it the idea. Driver side or passenger? passenger? It's passenger. Oh, perfect. You can borrow my seat if you want it. Yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. Where are you gonna go? Are you right there? Pretty much. Yep. Well, I got my, I have to have my passenger tire hit the rock first because it's the only one turning. So I got to come in on this angle to get it to bite. Why don't you just crank go it back the other way once you get up oh, and yeah. then just. Go up there and there's like cut. What it, I can't it? turn it. Your entire body's going to be done. Oh. Yeah, it, it doesn't. And it's timed, heavy. isn't it? How tough heavy is that? We're going to find out. <laughs> We're going to find out. Come on, first. First, please. <laughs> first. <laughs> Okay. If you ain't first, you're last. <laughs> first, we start up the Onyx flag. Perfect. Okay. First gate here, as I said before, second Good gate job. up the sand hill. Third gate, it. top of the rocks. Hey. Both front tires have to make it through the gate to what earn the money. You? And you can Six. skip gate two and go straight oh, to gate three if you want, and you'll still get gate two money.
But if I don't get gate three, I don't get gate two. Unless you come back down and get Perfect. gate Perfect. Now I'm going to be broken by the time I get to that. So oh, that's, that's, that's all I need up here. All right. Yep. First competitor, line up. Let's get <laughs> all right. I let Michelle draw because I got terrible luck. She drew number one for us. So we both have terrible luck, evidently. These screws didn't quite hold this old girl in, but Colt needs one anyways. Let's go help a guy out. All right. Are we ready? Oh yeah, that was a good time. It worked out just as we planned it. We got up through it. She's a little broken, but still moving. So it's better than we expected. for episode one of the Onyx Bell Challenge. You're 100% free to go and do whatever you want. Thank you very much for participating in episode one. If we can get out of here. It's up to you to get out of here. That's all, that's all <laughs> on you. So. Hey, Paul, yeah. I'm stuck. Would you mind giving me a tow out of here? I will, man. I'll get you out of here. Thank you. I don't know if we can start from right here, but we'll try it. I'm stuck, so we'll have Okay.
handful. Oh, dang. Get a handful and chuck it to Sean. Oh, dang. Just easy. <laughs> <laughs> bucks onto our budget so we'll get add a little more coolness to this old girl so now into the shop and start building <laughs> 